hello viewers welcome back to my channel this is my data cleaning and prepared data for analysis part 2 tutorial on microsoft power bi at the end of this tutorial we learn how to load data from folder how to remove duplicate and several rows how to append queries and merge queries in microsoft power query so this these are my data here all all the data have the same column this also have the same column and all are in csv in my previous tutorial i show you how to insert excel file how to insert csv file and also how to insert data from website into power bi desktop and in this tutorial i will show you how to insert data from a folder suppose you have lots of data and you do not want to import it manually in microsoft power bi in that case you can just connect that folder into power bi desktop so all the data within that folder will be automatically insert in the power bi desktop let me show you how to do this click on this get data then go to more now select this one folder then click on connect browse the folder path here I have all the data click on ok here I have uh, three CSV file all are shown here now now click on transform data if you want to clean the data now click on this option combine file here you can check all your uh, data uh, individually these are uh, my food cell sheet 1 data these are uh, sheet 2 data and these are sheet 3 data click on ok now all my data are combined here suppose you have a new sheet this one you also want to import uh, this sheet into power bi desktop here so how can you do this just drag and drop this here in the folder that you connect with microsoft power bi desktop here you will see there is 193 rows and if you click on refresh now it has 227 row if you go down you will find that foot cell sheet four data are also insert power query this is how you can insert a large number of data in power query now let's clean the data first i do not need this column so i am removing this and uh, you will find that there is a several uh, duplicate uh, rows this one also this one and this one so how to remove duplicate just follow this step go to the remove rows and select remove duplicate now all the duplicate rows are gone and now i do not need this uh, row actually so i am removing this remove top rows number of rows to remove i need to remove the first rows number one click on ok now i want this row as a header so click on this and uh, let me show you another thing if you want to remove first five rows just click on here remove top five rows the top five rows are now removed suppose if you want to remove bottom five rows just click on here remove bottom rows number five five rows from the bottom are now remove let's go back to the initial stage so i think all my data are now okay here uh, this one is text format this one is text this one is the number if so uh, it's in decimal format then close and apply go to the table section so this are data if you want to change the order date format click on here and select this format this is how you can uh, load uh, large quantities of data 
and uh, remove duplicate uh, remove several uh, top and bottom rows now our uh, next topic is how to append queries uh, suppose you want to append this data uh, with this data you can easily do so just go to home then go to transform data to open power query editor here is my data let's change the name uh, suppose i want to append this data with final data for append the table you have to load it first in power query so open text or csv file i am loading this data in power query these are my data click on ok now i want to append this data in final data so for this first i will select the final data and then click on append queries here you will find these two option if you append the new data with final data then select append queries and if you want a new table that append uh, these two data then you can uh, select this one append queries as new i am showing you how to do this i am selecting append queries as new suppose the first table is the final data and the second table is my food cell sheet 5 data click on ok that data are now append here and uh, this is how you can append your data let's change the name if you close and apply it will load all three table final data final data to food cell sheet 5 data suppose you do not want to load these two data final data and food cell sheet 5 data you just want to load this final data to that you cr create recently using append query method so for this go to transform data and what you have to do is to just select this and uncheck this enable load click on continue then this one uncheck this click on continue close and apply okay now you have only the final data two table here okay now our last topic is how to merge query for merge queries two that should have similar field suppose here i have the product field and i want to merge this data here i also have the product field and this is the manager information that i want to insert in this table so you have to remember uh, if you want to merge two or several data both data should have same field based on which the join will be continued let's merge the data for this go to transform data here is my final data too i want to merge that data food cell manager information here first of all i have to insert that csv file here this these are my data here column one is the product name and column two have the manager information manager name click on ok now i want to merge this information here so first i will select the table and then i have to go this option merge query now again similar to the previous one you have two options merge queries and merge queries as new if you select this one a new table will create with different name that contain both the information but i do not need the new table i just want to merge this information in this table so I am selecting this one merge queries now selecting the data that I want to merge select the column based on who is the merge function will uh, continue this one is product information and this one is product information here we will uh, see that the selection match 245 of 245 rows from the first table now click on ok after that 
click on here i want to import column one and column two click on ok now all the uh, information from food cell manager are inserted here let's check it so control and select the column drag it near to the product column here we will find based on uh, this similar information this field are marks i do not need this uh, column so this is how you can merge information using merge queries uh, thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel